at 5. A highly anticipated cleanup effort is underway. The U.S. Coast Guard is removing two massive sunken ships in the Columbia River that have been abandoned for years and recently sank off Hayden Island. The operation has picked up speed in the last couple of days, and Fox News' Adrian Thomas is live at Jansen Beach on Hayden Island tonight with a closer look at this. Adrian? Yeah, Pete, Stephanie, if any of us have driven over the Columbia River along I-5 southbound from Vancouver into Portland in recent years, we've definitely seen, you know, these two massive ships that were sitting in the Columbia River right behind me. Now, the two ships, the Alert and Sacarissa, will be out of here soon, and locals tell me they hope it's the start of a new Hayden Island. In an operation that began this month, the Alert and Sakarisa, each over 100 feet long, according to the Coast Guard, are finally getting taken out of the Columbia River. One of the Coast Guard officers on scene today telling us the Sakarisa was successfully hauled away this morning. This is a story we've been following for some time. The two vessels causing a headache for those who live on the river, like houseboat resident Ron Schmidt, who also heads the waterfront organizations of Oregon. This is the front door to our city and to our state. And that's what people saw when they came to Oregon. Schmidt says he's thrilled Jansen Beach is getting this major cleanup. He adds he and other home and business owners along the river have worked hard to close this section of Jansen Beach down because of how much the boats have deteriorated and were being used by others. And with the illegal campers down here getting on the vessels, opening up the hatches, uh, cutting out valves and piping, Inevitably, the boats did sink. Schmidt hopes this massive cleanup of the two vessels will build momentum for other waterfront improvements on Hayden Island. We're not doing anything to build this island up that really could be as beautiful, if not more beautiful, than what it is on the other side. So I think there needs to be political will. I think there needs to be uh, incentives uh, to businesses. Back out here live now, you can see that the alert still remains half sunk here off Hayden Island. Now we're told the Coast Guard is expected to bring in larger equipment later this week to get the second boat removed. And the next step for the boats is to be taken by the Coast Guard to a facility where any um, excess oil will be pumped from the vessels before they're safely trashed for good. Live on Hayden Island, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.